Yes, um, this morning we are looking at um, where blood components are formed, formation of components of blood, formation of components of blood. Components of blood. Good. Let's have these components listed down first. The components of blood include red blood cells. We have white blood cells. We have uh, blood platelets, blood platelets, we have blood plasma, blood plasma, these are the four components of blood. Now we shall see where red blood cells are formed, where white blood cells are formed, where um, blood platelets are formed and where blood plasma is formed. Let's begin with red blood cells, RBCs, red blood cells. These are manufactured, they are manufactured in the bone marrow In the bone marrow found in short bones, found in short bones. Well, soon I will explain to you what bone marrow is. It is a fluid like a structure found inside the bones, especially in mammals. B we are talking about white blood cells. These are manufactured manufactured in bone marrow found in long bones. Good. C. Blood plasma. Blood plasma. Blood plasma is manufactured by the river. Manufactured by the liver. The largest organ inside the body of an organism. Then D. Having blood platelets, blood platelets, blood platelets are manufactured in the same position as white blood cells. Blood platelets are manufactured by bone marrow. Don't know what long bones are, where they are found, and such. Let us have examples of long bones and examples of short bones so you can easily distinguish between where exactly these blood components are manufactured. Examples of long bones. Let's begin with white uh, with red blood cells that we say are formed. The bone marrow found in the short bones. Let's first have this MP bone marrow. Bone marrow. This is nothing other than a fluid found inside a bone. 
inside a given bond. A given bond. Illustration. Assume it is a uh, humerus. Uh, humerus. Inside here is a fluid. If you break it, you find a fluid here. It's like this, like this. So this fluid here is what we call bone marrow. Is the one responsible of manufacturing of either red bone, uh, red blood cells, white blood cell, or platelets, depending on which bone it is located. If it's a short bone, it will form red blood cells. If it's a long bone, it will form white blood cells and uh, blood platelets. Let's see examples. Examples of short bones. Of short bones. We are talking about short bones of the human being. Number one, we are having a sternum. Sternum, which can as well be called um, the breast bone. Yes. Sternum is sufficient. I can illustrate it by this. Allow me to remove this for a moment so you can know where it's found. Um, assuming this is the head of a human being, this is a skull. On the skull, this is the neck. The neck uh, here are bones. This is a clavicle, the clavicle, reaching this point where there is shoulder. Now, here is a bone where ribs originate from. This is what we call the sternum. Yes, uh, this is a uh, shoulder point, shoulder point of the body. So these are the ribs. These ribs originate from this middle bone called the sternum. It's a short bone. Now inside it is a bone marrow, is is bone marrow that manufactures red blood cells. Let's <coughs> have another example of the short bones. We have the metacarpals. Metacarpals and metatarsals. Metacarpals and metatarsals. Metacarpals are the bones of fingers. Bones of fingers. Then metatarsals are bones of toes. Good. Inside is a fluid that helps in the manufacture of red blood cells. Let's have examples of long bones where white blood cells and platelets, the one that we can avail called thrombocytes, are manufactured. Examples of long bone. Examples of long bones. Uh, long
no bones are found in the limbs. And when I talk of limbs, I mean arms, bones of arms and bones of legs. These include uh, radius of the arm. These include um, arna of the arm. We talk of femur of the leg, you talk of tibia of the leg, you talk of fibula of the leg. These are the long bones. Inside these bones is bone marrow. This bone marrow is one responsible of making both white blood cells and blood platelets platelets lastly we are talking about plasma blood plasma blood blood plasma this is a fluid like part of blood water a part of blood manufactured by the liver by the liver uh, we see that one of the functions of the liver is that the liver breaks excess blood cells white blood cells red blood cells and blood platelets when they are excess the liver breaks them down and by breaking them down it makes bile but it is also responsible of making blood plasma to transport the cells manufactured by the bones, manufactured by the bone marrow uh, in long bones and short bones across the body. So while it is doing all that, we see the liver producing a lot of it. This liver has a lot of functions, produces heat, produces heat because it is destroying excess blood cells to make bile. It is manufacturing plasma, manufactures plasma. The liver is a wonderful organ, detoxifies harmful substances in the body, detoxifies, detoxifies harmful substances in the body, produces heat, manufactures plasma. Uh, detoxifies harmful substances, substances in the in, in the body. Then regulates uh, regulates blood sugar. That's the river. Yeah. For now, we have seen where blood is manufactured. The bone marrow from short bones and long bones plus the river. In short bones, there we find bone marrow that manufactures red blood cells. In long bones, there we find bone marrow that manufacture white blood cells and blood platelets. Then blood plasma is manufactured by the river. Thank you, and we call it a day.